Hi everyone, it's Dolly. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. So today I have a haul for you, a Tuesday morning haul. I decided to stop by my Tuesday morning after work because I had seen several people doing some Tuesday morning hauls and it looks like there's a few new things. So um, I did manage to find a few things. I wanted to jump right into this. Uh, before I forget because so many times I do buy bits and pieces and I tend to forget so let's go ahead and move along you guys the first item that I purchased was this right here it's a iron-on fabric sheets and what this is for is not for my crafting my niece is actually going to be giving birth to a baby boy um, very soon and so we are having a baby shower for her and me and my daughters are trying to start uh pre-planning all of the things that we want to do for her shower and she um wants a woodlands theme so i found this at tuesday morning and again they are iron on fabric sheets and um, i thought we could do banners with these and i thought it would be really cute so here is the price 2.99 and also the SKU number and look at how pretty these fabric pieces are i think they'll go perfect with the theme so um that was the first item that i purchased uh for our baby shower and then i also wanted to find some paper and i didn't have much luck finding woodsy colored paper but my daughter found this and um, I think that the colors are really pretty and I think that we can use these. So um, $4.99 is the price on this. And here is the SKU number. And let me show you what the designs look like. I really like the colors. Uh, the designs are okay, but I figure they will work perfect as a background type of paper when we do the party. Okay, the other piece and the last piece that I found for the Woodlands theme was this cute little piece of wooden board and I thought we could set up something on here on the dessert table and use it. I wish I would have found another one. It was the only one, but um, I, I have other Tuesday mornings that I can check and it was only $3.99 and here is the SKU number and I'm sure I could find uh, things to use this for such as a sign or again something on the dessert table so that was it for the woodlands theme items and so i also found some really very pretty um, paper pads and you guys these paper pads that i found were um, by a designer or a brand called Lost and Found. And I have never heard of Lost and Found until this. And I don't know if I've ever purchased anything um, by Lost and Found, but it's really very new to me. So um, this is the first paper pad that I found. And this one is called Market Street. And again, it's by Lost and Found. And I'm just gonna flip through it really quick. The pages, the reason why these pads caught my eye is because they are very vintage looking. The pages are, you know, very simple. Well, not simple, but very vintage and not too loud. So I like that they are semi-simple and that they are in the vi vintage themes. Um, I would love to use these for my journal. The only thing that... Um, I would have preferred was that uh, these were two-sided and they're not. They're only single-sided, but it's okay because I can use these back-to-back uh, -to -back and create something in a journal form. And I love the designs. I love each and every one of the designs. And again, this one is called Market Street. Here is the SKU number, 699. And I also found, by Lost and Found, I actually... Um, found three pads. This is the second one and this one is called Breeze. I love the colors in this pad because of the blues, the greens, and the browns and they are all very antique-ish looking if that's even a word, antique-ish. But <laughs> let me show you. Wait, let me see. Let's do it this way. Okay, so you could see these are very simple but again they have that very vintage feel to them. And I just love the colors in this. The fact that there's a lot of greens, browns, and blues. Very, very pretty. Okay, and same price on this. Of course, it's $6.99. Here is the SKU number on this one. 
And again, this one is called Breeze by Lost and Found. So the third pad that I found by Lost and Found is this one. And this is so beautiful, it's called Blush. So there are a lot of pinks in this. And let me go ahead and flip through this pad so that you can get an idea of the designs. And also this has a very nice vintage feel. Look at these beautiful floral uh, prints. I love the roses. Looks very shabby. And again, there's a dress form on this one. Love that. And I think you get two of each design. Look at these daisies. Aren't these so pretty? I love it. And I love that they look very antique. So this is the third pad by Lost and Found. And it was only $6.99. Here is the SKU number. And again, this one is called Blush. So you guys, I also found um, a set of blank cards and envelopes it was a card set but look at how thick this is so it's 50 cards and 50 envelopes they're all five by seven but i got these because the color is cream and they look very vintage to me and i can't wait to use these to make some vintage christmas cards i got inspired because my friend don at don h creates has been doing this not really a challenge but a christmas in july you guys should check out her channel i'm gonna link it below and she's been doing some really fun projects and i really wish i could have joined that but unfortunately i am so busy at work and i just didn't feel like i would be able to um, keep up with all of the projects so um she did create some beautiful vintage christmas cards and when i saw this i thought it would be easier for me to also create some. She really inspired me with those. And last year I was way behind on Christmas cards. So this year I wanna try and get some Christmas cards done ahead of time. So 50 cards and 50 envelopes for only $4.99. Here is the SKU number. So what I love about this is that the colors, even though it says cream, to me these have a more vintage tint to them. And I had to get them because 50 cards and 50 envelopes is gonna take you a long way, especially for only $4.99. All right, so then I also found some stamps. And let me show you the first one that I found. The first one I found is this, you guys. And I noticed that this is also by Lost and Found. And again, this is the first time I've ever seen this. And I see here that it says, My Mind's Eye. So you guys, I don't know if Lost and Found is like the line of this particular brand and it's by My Mind's Eye. Not quite sure how that works, but this is so beautiful. And what attracted me to this stamp was the little ballerina with the umbrella because I am doing a ballerina themed journal right now or I'm trying to work on one. Don't know when I'll ever finish it because I've actually got several journals started. And that's the thing with me, I will start a journal and I get bored and I have to put it down and start something else. So that's one of the journals I'm working on. And when I saw this ballerina, I just had to grab this. And it's not just the ballerina that's so cute in this set. Look at this vintage typewriter. Look at the fan and I love the stamp. It says two and a half, but then you have some crowns and it says happy, funny, silly. And there's even a hot air balloon, you guys. So. Yeah, I really um, like this and it was only $2.99. I thought that was a really good deal for this. Here is the SKU number. Okay, and I don't know if I gave you guys the SKU number for the card set, but I may have. Anyway, here it is just in case I forgot. Okay, so the next stamp set, the next clear stamp set that I found was also by My Mind's Eye, Lost and Found, and this one is called Pretty. Let me see what this one is called. This one's called Happy. Okay, so this one called Pretty, what attracted me to this is of course the dress form. I love the dress form. I know I have a lot of stickers that are in the dress form design, but I don't think I own a clear stamp yet that is in the dress form design. So how pretty is that, you guys? So here's the beautiful dress form. Here's the Eiffel Tower and an old fashioned sewing machine and then a fan, and then you have a little bird here, and this says pretty. 
It really is pretty, you guys. So let me show you the SKU number. It's only $2.99, and here's the SKU number on this. So then I have another one that's very similar to this, but not quite the same. Sorry, I just dropped another stamp pack. So this one um, I had to get because it also had the dress form. It's a smaller one, and it's facing forward rather than sideways. And this one is called Beautiful. And I love this pack because, first of all, the dress form is here. Look at this beautiful flag. Look at the bird cage, the butterfly. Oh my gosh. And this record player, old fashioned record player, the bird, and it says beautiful. And that's what this uh, set is called. It's called beautiful. All right, let me show you the SKU number on this one. This one was also $2.99. And then I have one last one. And the last stamp pad that I got is by Bow Bunny. And you guys, uh, this might be a repurchase. This is terrible, I know, but I may have purchased this a while back and I just can't find it, but it looks familiar to me. So it, this is Bow Bunny Sewing the Seed stamp. And I love it because it looks like a whole bunch of pages from either like a newspaper or a... Um, gardening book and then there's even a, a stamp here that is like a from a dictionary i guess but look at how cute this is and this says this is like from an advertisement a bargain collection of flowers and it's just so pretty you guys i can't wait to use this in my journal and that's another reason why i um had to get this because i really love it and i recognize it but i don't want to have to go looking through all of my stuff just to find it and if i ever do find out that i have already purchased this i could always use it in a giveaway i'm not 100 percent sure and that's why i got it because if i didn't buy it yet then i am glad i bought it so um 2.99 is the price on this here's the SKU number and this is a bow bunny set called sewing the seeds stamp set all right, so then I have one final item, you guys. And this item was something that I didn't expect to go in and buy, but when I saw it, I thought it was a really good deal. So this is the Mini Evolution Stamp Die and Embossing Kit. So the reason why I bought this is not just because of the low price, but because I have seen this before in the past on, I think it was HSN, I'm pretty sure it was HSN, where they were selling it for like $69. And then you even had to pay like a $20 um, shipping fee. And for $24, and it comes with so many pieces, I thought that I could not go wrong with this because first of all, I can use this when I travel. If I wanted to do some, you know, stamping, dyeing, or embossing, I have all of the pieces in here that's in a travel size. So uh, I also like the fact that it's very sturdy. I've watched some reviews on this and it looks like a really nice kit. So I'm gonna open it up really quick. I'm not gonna do a rev review on it. If you guys would like to see a review on it, I have gone on YouTube to watch a few of the reviews and there's quite a few reviews on this that um, you can just search all you have to do is search review on mini evolution um, by we are memory keepers and a whole bunch will pop up so this is not just the uh, the the die um, embossing kit um, it's also it also comes with a stamp um, precision press I guess that's what you call it but anyway let me show you what it comes with really quick so you get all of these clear stamps you guys and there's quite a few I want to read off to you exactly what you get in this you get one mini evolution which is the um, the die cutter you get one mini precision press one base plate one embossing plate one cutting plate four layered stamps two die and emboss folders, one embossing folder, 15 acrylic stamps, five die shapes, 25 sheets of white paper, and 25 sheets of cream paper. You guys, this comes with so much. And look at this, you guys. Isn't that cute? It's a stamp press, and I have the larger version of this. This is a travel size version. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use this. 
So put that aside. Okay, and then here are some of the plates, the embossing plates. Here are the cutting plates, um, the paper. And what I really want to get to is the actual die cutter. So this is very, very sturdy and it's really heavy. So there's even a lock setting on here. So once you put it down, it sticks to wherever it is that you're, you know, pressing on. And you guys, this didn't stick because usually you would need to put this on glass or something, but I've seen the reviews and this thing really, really holds. So see, it's stuck now. So. Um, it's very heavy and I can't wait to, to use this and the little turning knob is very smooth and easy so um, I'm really excited about using this and like I said for $24 you can't beat that especially if you are away from home and you need something that's light and easy to carry you can't go wrong so I'm gonna go ahead and put these back because um, like I said, I'm unfortunately, I'm not going to do a review on this. This is just a quick haul that I wanted to share with you. And again, if you guys want to check out the reviews for this, um, please go on and uh, check it out on YouTube. Like I said, there are so many reviews on this mini evolution. So here is the original price, you guys. 110, well, not the original. It says um, estimated value was $110. So from $110 to $24.99, and like I said, I have seen this on HSN for $69, and you also had to pay the $20 shipping fee, which to me, I feel like by buying this for $24.99, all I'm doing is paying a shipping fee. That's how I like to think of it. So, all right. So I am going to go ahead and put this back, and actually... I don't there you go okay so I think that was it for my purchases today I'm gonna go ahead and lay out the paper pads again so that you guys can see them and um, I just wanted to make sure to do this haul before I start to dig into all of this uh, fun all these fun pieces and I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, mini haul it's kind of a mini haul and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.